Okay, the first thing I want to do is get a banner. And at this point, we hadn't discussed what uh, my website topic or theme is about. And I'm going to go ahead and choose like um, parenting or um, children things. So I am going to go ahead and switch over to myflippersvault.com. And in the headers section, I'm going to just look for a parenting type header. That's one, but I'm not thrilled. Oh, there, I like this one. So I'm going to download the Photoshop version. Parenting one. And then in Photoshop, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Parenting one. And then up on the menu, I'm going to click Window, Layers. That will show me the layers that are on, that's on this banner. Your details title for parenting website. That's right here. So if I click on that, and then click on the text tool right here, then I can click and drag Whoops, these are two different things. Your details, title, for, and then parenting website. I see here there are two different layers. So your details, title. I can just type in anything I want. And if I select the next layer, parenting website, can make it anything I want. And then here, your sample text here, that would be this, this layer. So if I click on it and then click the text tool again, I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Now I'm going to switch back over to front page. Click on File, Import, Add File. And I'm going to find that JPEG I just created. Click OK and that imports it into the folder. And then up here, I can take out the word banner and just click and drag that new parenting banner up. Now the banner is smaller than the table I see, so I'm gonna double click on the banner and I see that it is 700 pixels in width. So I'm going to right click inside the table again and go to Table Properties and instead of 800 pixels, I'm going to make it 700. That'll just bring everything in so where it's nice and neat. And then I'll click Save. Also, um, sometimes on my banners, I like to put a border around it. So I'm going to double click on it and border thickness. I'll make that one just to see how that looks. Yeah, I like that. So I'll keep it and click Save.